When we think about war, we have to recognize that injury is inevitable. But what we have to do is to plan to care for people once they are injured. We have to be prepared to intervene as early as possible on the battlefield. We have to be able to take that person to a rehabilitation hospital, and we have to welcome that person back in the community. Stories of traumatic brain injury are as varied as those who suffer from it. For some, it is a lifelong challenge. But not every TBI has a lasting effect. Many who suffer concussions or mild TBIs will recover quickly and completely. Every day, experts are learning more about the brain and its ability to heal. The potential for the brain to recover is being understood now in ways that it certainly wasn't being understood 10 years ago. Awareness and education are key, and patients who know what to expect are much more likely to recover successfully and prevent further injury. Helping the patients and families to understand what is ahead of them, I think, is probably one of the best things that we can do for them. Joseph and Ashley Grady were married on Christmas Day in the hospital chapel just weeks after his injury, but still plan on a traditional wedding with family and friends. We'll have our big wedding, and then he's going to decide whether or not he wants to stay in the Marine Corps. Tim Maxwell continues to work through his frustrations by reaching out to others. Tim thrives on visiting with the Wounded Marines. Um, it's a huge part of who he is. It gives him a sense of purpose. Mark Shaler's cranioplasty was a success. For now, he and Melissa are back in Virginia where he continues to improve with outpatient therapies. Not every day's easy. We just take it one day at a time until then. You know, just wake up and smile on every day. Lucky that we have another day together. For more information on traumatic brain injury and prevention, visit the Defense and Veterans Brain Injury Center at dvbic.org.